Under uh, the Clean Water Act 402 permitting program, you've had many states take over that program. Uh, the RICRA program, a lot of states have taken over the Hazardous Waste Permitting Program, Clean Air Act, similar. Um, but with the Clean Water Act 404 program, as you mentioned, only two states have taken over the federal permitting program. Um, and I wonder if you could share with the students um, a little bit more about you know, why that is, what impediments there are, and why more states haven't taken over the program when they've taken over programs in other areas. So. Right, it's a little bit of a construct of the Clean Water Act. The Clean Water Act provides for what are called wetland development grants. It allows a state to um, investigate and create a wetland program um, to help them assume but it doesn't allow the state to receive continued funding to operate the program. So the other programs that states have assumed have always come with federal support. The 402 program, the MPDES program, that comes with funding. Many of the RICRA programs, the AIR programs, they come with funding. <clears throat> For some reason, under the structure of the Clean Water Act, funding doesn't follow the, the 404 program. And so for most states, it was a, a, a financial a, uh, exercise to basically determine whether they could assume the program, resource it, run it, and then how would they fund it if there's no federal funding coming through. In most cases they would fund it through permit fees. And uh, a good example is that a Corps, uh, Army Corps of Engineer wetland permit costs $100 regardless of the size of the project. Uh, New Jersey and Michigan who have taken the program um, have higher fees for their permits depending on the size of the project and, and the resources needed. And many states, I think, have determined that without any federal funding, the, the cost they would have to pass on to the permittee to actually do the work and issue the permit would be prohibitive. Uh, however, there are some real advantages uh, that have been identified by states having the program, the two states that do. Uh, Michigan and New Jersey, but particularly Michigan, has, has been pretty vocal in discussing what they believe they can do by running this program. They've showed that they can develop the permits much more quickly. Now some people would say a quick permit is not a good permit, but, but Michigan feels confident that, their pro, that the permits that they do develop, in one case it took the state seven months where it took in a similar permit from the Army Corps almost seven years. Wow. So in terms of economic development, where there's always pressure on states, to, these are projects, often shopping malls, construction, housing developments. Right. If you can bring that project online, so to speak, more quickly, that's good for economic development for the state. And there's always pressure on states to keep the economy of the state healthy. So Michigan has been able to show that they can run a robust program as well as an economically viable program. A few years ago, uh, the Michigan governor um, questioned the state's continuing running of this program and suggested that it should be turned back to the federal government. And there was actually a groundswell of support from both the business community and the non-governmental organization, the nonprofit community, um, to say, no, Michigan's doing a great job with this program, they should keep it. And so several reports were issued and, and it still remains an issue that's talked about, but Michigan does have the program and they're keeping it. They also have different judicial review provisions, which are fairly interesting. If um, one receives a permit from the Army Corps and wishes to appeal it, you appeal through the Army Corps system, and it, there's several layers, but you're appealing to the, to the organization that actually issued the permit. In Michigan, if you have a problem with the permit and wish to appeal it, you actually appeal it to a, a, a separate body. So uh, Michigan has been able to say that they feel that um, there's perhaps more transparency around the project, the, the program that they've created. So it's a separate administrative body? A separate right. administrative body. It's not that you're just appealing it up through the DEQ that issued the permit. Huh. Um, so really interesting um, twist there. And um, several states, uh, Arizona, Indiana, Alaska recently, Virginia, have all commissioned studies over the past five to ten years to assess what it would take for them to assume the program without any federal funding. And most of them have determined that they just can't do it with existing resources. Uh, it's also been, I've heard anecdotally, 
that when a state starts exploring assumption, um, the core districts that do the work can get a little bit prickly. And, um, and so there's some turf issues that's just the reality of the world in which we operate. You have a group of federal uh, folks who've been performing a certain function and if the state expresses some interest in taking over that function, there, there can be some, some uh, resistance. And so there's politics that have affected assumption as well. Now, for the permit fees, you mentioned in New Jersey and Michigan uh, that the cost was perhaps not necessarily prohibitive for them, but it might be for other states. Do New Jersey and Michigan try to set the fees at a level that would actually cover the cost of the administration of the program, or it's only a portion of It's only a portion. It's, right. it's actually still subsidized by the state funds, right. and that's part of why um, Certainly, Michigan was asked to look very closely at it in a tight budget time in the state. You right. Know, why are we taking this program that it appears that 48 other states have found that the federal government can do? Why do we have it? It's costing the state money. Right. What if, why, should, why don't we give it back? And it's just a general appropriation then? General state general funds would subs that go to the department, uh, Michigan DEQ, Department of Environmental Quality would support that, or, right. or New Jersey Department of Environmental Protection. Right. right, and state general funds have been going down to the environmental agency. So if you need that match to keep running the program, it you either get the general funds or you continue to raise the fees. And at, at, at some point, you may reach an unsustainable point. Yeah, yeah. I haven't heard that neither that either New Jersey or Michigan feel that they're at that place, but I think it's something that states thinking about taking the program would be wary of. Right, is is, is how long they could maintain that balance if general funds to the state environmental agency are declining.